Hello and welcome back. And as I so tantalisingly said before the break, we're still in Stockport and the Queen's Head. The Queen's Head was formerly known as Turner's here in Stockport. It was a lot larger than what it actually is now, and it's been home to a few residents in the past, such as Charles Darwin, Charlie Chaplin, Bonnie Prince Charlie, and they resided here. So the venue itself does go back many, many, many years. Very, very old, very, very spooky, very, very small. Uh, we've been here since, well, my wife's worked here for two years and uh, we've actually took over the place uh, the beginning of July. We knew a bit about the history because they originate from Stockport and it's common knowledge around the area. I mean, it's common knowledge, you know, everywhere really. It's very eerie and spooky with it being very old, you know, it's like 320 years old. So just the atmosphere inside and things, you know, and it's old worldly looking. So yes, indeed. It, it is a wee bit spooky in itself. Very often we get visitors because of the ghost stories and uh, they just like to come here and have a look round. When people have been to the toilet and things, even strangers have just walked in to use the toilets and things like that. Uh, they've come down and said, is this something up there? You know, for something, I've seen something on the stairs, etc, etc. Or they've felt something on the stairs. I myself, down the cellar and things, I've often felt the hair on the back of my neck stand up and never seen anything, but very often thought there was something. The Queen's Head has the smallest toilet in Europe. Um, one of the urban legends, many, many years ago, the place was thought to have housed hangings of some form. And where the toilet is in, in the bottom of the building is where the, the, the person would come to a final drop. The Queen's Head has been known for glasses moving, it's been known for drinks disappearing. I myself came here one time many, many years ago with a friend and we were sat uh, more or less in the corner where I'm sat now and I was just talking uh, with one of my friends and uh, we put the drinks on the table. There was nobody else around at the time. We didn't come in for a paranormal research or anything like just a just a general night out and um, my friend's drink disappeared. But, you know, the glass has disappeared as well, but we know that nobody had been anywhere near to, to touch the glass. My friend obviously thought it was me that was playing a prank and had moved the glass, which I hadn't done, so uh, we never knew where, where that glass and, and the drink had, had gone to. Well, this particular night, I was sat in the room, everybody seemed to frighten down and gone, and uh, I thought, well, all right. I haven't been getting myself ready to go myself, and then I thought, yeah, I thought they'd all gone. There was two objects in that corner, like people. And I thought, well, I've not seen them before. So I just went like that, and then looked again, and they just gone. And they didn't walk out of the room, <laughs> they just disappeared. Many, many years ago, in the 1800s, there was a, a local police officer who was shot point-blank through the heart. Um, that was on Stockport Market, so just a bit lower down on the bank section. Since though that period, there's been many reported sightings, shall we say, of the face of a constable in uniform looking through the window upstairs, and it would be the top window on the front of the building. And this has happened over many, many, many years by various people. Uh, the reports are from various people from all walks of life with, with high credibility and they've all sort of reported seeing just for a few moments this, this apparitional spectre of, uh, of, a, of a policeman in uniform gazing at them through the window. One of the 
rooms upstairs was once used many, many years ago in the Civil War periods maybe, or maybe just after that, when um, a cavalier was actually tortured in that room and um, was bricked up inside the room and left there alive um, to die. So since then, people have heard footsteps dragging across the floors upstairs, especially near the toilet area. And the toilet area is right opposite the room where the cavalier was said to have been bricked in. A cleaning lady who has worked here for over 17 years, while cleaning the lady's toilets, has reported seeing cavalier boots. And these would be via the mirror. So she'd be cleaning, she'd look in the mirror and see these cavalier boots. When she'd look around, obviously these, the cavalier boots wasn't there. Is this the, the same boots of the same cavalier? We'd probably like to think it would be. Well, we had heard that it's uh, supposed to be a cavalier. I've been in that room, people, other people have been in that room, and the, the central heating's been on and it's been, it's been warm when the central heating, but the room has been cold, absolutely cold. You know, like a fridge. A reporter once stayed here at the Queen's Head for, uh, for the, uh, the Stockport Express. About four o'clock in the morning, you know, this reporter was, uh, was seen leaving the building here in great haste, face white with fear, dripped with fear, and uh, was running up the road screaming. Years ago, the, uh, obviously the, the Queen's Head was a lot larger than what it actually is now, but as the years have passed, the building has sort of been divided now into two sections with a, a passageway running between the two. The next door part of, uh, of this building was, it's thought to be a distillery of some form. It seems to hold the, the various characteristics of a distillery. We have investigated the, uh, the building next door and that was some very good results. In there leaves you with a feeling of vulnerability, um, first off, I'd say, because it is a feeling of being watched from, from countless areas. It's so wide open in there. There's so many areas. Uh, it's the, just the eerie feeling of being watched. We have heard sounds in there, which we believe was, was children, the sounds of children. We was doing a call out once while we had members and um, we was asking out um, to any possible spiritual energies that may be there. And again, it seemed to be a child that was picked up, a, a young girl that was picked up. When she was asked her age, um, myself heard a voice in my ear, said six. So um, I said to the people who was calling out to the team members, try six. And there was getting a lot of response, but when we took the tape back, we were on the videotape, you could actually hear very, very faintly a voice saying six. We do believe as well that the Queen's Head may be home or prone to uh, poltergeist activity. A former landlord who, uh, who didn't reside here in the building but did clean up the building at the end of the night's uh, trade as, as normal and when they'd return the next morning oh, the, uh, we'd, they'd find that the furniture would be moved to one side in this area here of the building where I'm actually sat would be moved to one side, shifted to one side and stacked up. 